Yeah, it's writing on the so wall. Actually, Zuckerberg, the dorm he was in, Kirkland House, is where we live in. Me and the hockey guys. No way. Yeah. So in the movie, I don't know. Like I've watched it a couple times, and it's not. It's, it is in Harvard. Like it's all there's. They actually talk about the finals clubs there, like the parties and yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's what I'm a part of, I guess. And it is a pretty good representation representation of Harvard life, but it is it is different and. Uh, like that that movie is crazy like there is people like you think about it like as much as i walk around campus and i'm going to get a burrito bowl and back to my dorm and go to practice like there's other people that are sitting in their room like just grinding like new ideas and who knows who will have the next big thing but there's definitely there's definitely people there that have the ideas so it's crazy i remember when you gave us a tour not even of the the rink but of the town and yep. we drove by the apartment of matt damon where he wrote the movie goodwill oh, Hunting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah i thought that was cool that was i i uh i forget i think foxy actually told me that he was like it's it's a another finals club and he was in the library in the basement of it and i guess that's where that's where he wrote the movie so I, that one always stuck with me i was like that's pretty cool like that's legit it was a sick little town i don't know what that yeah. little town was called it's, but it's small cambridge yeah up in it's harvard square i guess but uh it's like it's kind of like i guess bu's right in the city bc's its own campus and then harvard is like kind of its own little town town there yeah and it's peaceful it's relatively quiet within like the students village and stuff yeah down by the river there yeah and i mean me and jury like during the season would just go or when it got nice out, we would sit by the river for legit like an off day, we'd sit by the river, throw the baseball around, and just soak it all oh, in for hours. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. And we were just both okay with just sitting there and doing nothing and just relaxing. And yes. It was unreal. It's like you can get away. You can be in the thick of things. Like there's just yeah, – I just think Harvard does a great job with their students, their undergrad students especially. And you can – like after going there for two years, you understand why it's uh, it's got the rep it does because it's uh, – it's an unbelievable place that I'm glad to go to. When we went to go watch the game, we were really impressed with the alumni. Not only yeah. the alumni that, like, there's a big plaque up on the track there yeah. of the alumni and the people that have gone there, but the, the alumni that were at the actual game. Yeah. It was incredible because dudes, myself uh, and Billy, we were all wearing the same vest. And it had, on the back of the vest, there was a Nova Scotia flag. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people came up to us and were talking about the flag because a lot of people know Nova Scotia because yeah. all these rich folks go to Cabot Links and play golf in the summer. So that's oh, how yeah. they know the Nova Scotia flag. Yeah. So they all, we were talking to so many people and we're like, so obviously they're asking what we do. So I'm pitching high button to them. Like, give me some money. You don't want to be an investor. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> And they're just like, no, well, we're alumni. I'm like, do you have kids playing or anything? Like, no, just here to watch, like here to support. And I probably had a conversation with five or six people, just alumni, just there to support, there to yep. there to be part of the tradition. And it was crazy. You know, I don't know what day we were there. We were there on a Wednesday afternoon game. You know, it wasn't that big of a game, but it was yeah. a game. But it was incredible how many people were there just to just to support, just yeah. to be there, just to to represent the school. It, it was very very cool. It's and I, I think that's the main thing about Harvard. The most important thing is the alumni network is is so strong and everyone. I mean, I talk about how much I love it there. Like I I'd probably do the same thing when I'm when I'm older. Like I would give support back. I, I mean, I love the place. Like I've met some of my best friends there or my best friends there, and like every game we have the thing called the Friends of Harvard Hockey, which supports our team. Um, it's all alumni yeah. and they give back and they're there all the time road games like we're in the road we play in New York City maybe um, we're at the garden and like they'll put us up for a dinner oh, in the city and it's just like oh, oh, come <laughs> so on. we're pretty we're pretty fortunate and uh, but no and they're also great people to talk to like I, my parents whenever they go to they're yes. always I brought my grandma she came to visit and she's 87 88 and she's strutting around the rink and everyone's coming up to talk to her I'm introducing her and they're having like she was pumped just because these people are so personable and uh, and nice. So, but no, it's it's a, it is a, also a lot like Nova Scotia. Like there's a lot of connections yeah. in Boston to Nova Scotia. So that's I'm I'm glad I'm kind of back closer to home. Yeah, in a spot. I mean, when I played in Nebraska, uh, they don't know where Nova Scotia is, or they didn't even know it was in the on Earth. <laughs> so I mean, it's nice to be back kind of close to home where I can people kind of want it like they enjoy talking about nova scotia yeah well when we were up talking to these people i can tell bullshit you know i can smell it like when oh, people yeah. ask about the high button i can tell the people that actually care they're engaged and though. the people that just yeah. they're just there to ask just because they kind of have to ask yeah but 
the amount of care that these people had when they were actually okay you know they're actually asking about high button sports what is it how yeah. did you start it how many podcasts do you do how many videos who do you know on the team oh how do you know willie okay and it was yeah. an actual cool conversation with some really intelligent people nice yeah. people and i I just, I just thought it was cool because you know you go to america you hear the stigma oh, they're all dicks all that shit yeah but then you're actually there and you're actually talking to the people i, I was very surprised it was a very cool uh experience we were almost blown away by the tradition and the even like the cleanness of it like the rink was perfect yeah very the, clean, the boards very there was no team. advertising it was all ivy the the the, the store yeah the, the store is very even the guy classy. at the gate we didn't have you only, you only left tickets for billy because dudes and i weren't even supposed to come right. and we showed up to the front and we just asked the guy we're like hey like we're not really supposed to be here but willie was gonna leave us tickets and like willie devoe i'm like yeah like he's all right boys just go on in the guy <laughs> at the gate just let us go because we were yeah. friends with you and we didn't even have tickets and he says go for it you know it was just, there were just so many things about that day that were just kind of just blew our minds it was yeah. a really cool thing no that's, that's really awesome cool. I, I think that's the one thing is about especially Harvard hockey. Like, I'm not going to say we're the North Dakota fans, but, um, like, we get really good support from our alumni. Um, we might not have the rowdiest fans in the league, but students still, you know, come. And it's tough when we're in Boston. you got the Bruins, BC, yeah. all these other schools. And Red Harvard's, Bull crashed ice. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you were in that. Or you were well, we were filming. filming that's it. why yeah, we were yeah. there. Yeah, that yeah. was true. Um, we had our passes on at the game. We like <laughs> yeah, we thought yeah. that would get us in the game. Like, let's just wear our passes. They'll let us in. <laughs> <laughs> that's it unreal. worked <laughs> that's incredible <laughs> it did but yeah it's like i think when we're in a market that it's like not so folks about just making money like it's not junior hockey where you're just trying to get fans in the seats you get good support and like it just makes for a way better atmosphere with our team too because it's less of a business and i think guys it still is a business obviously like it's cutthroat to play or not but um there's no like trades or anything or guys getting sent down you're worried for your life like everyone can just come to the rink and we're like we're a very close team like and it just makes, I think the Harvard hockey program has done a great job. So, yeah. and just creating an atmosphere that's great to watch hockey and great to play hockey for them.